Luke would bring out the inner child in me. Like, you could just make fun out of anything. You talk about Luke's legacy, everybody talks about Luke's legacy. I think what Luke left behind was a feeling that people were together. It's something that I, sorry, legit, I'm talking myself here, will never get over. I would say it still hasn't properly hit me. There are still things that I do every, every single day, there's still things that I do that remind me of him. On Monday the 23rd of January 2023, Luke Abrahams passed away with a bacterial infection. At the age of just 20 years old, messages came flooding in via social media and the national and local media picked up the story too. For a 20 year old to leave such a legacy for grassroots football in Northampton, it really shows how much he was loved. This is Luke's legacy. An investigation by the NHS is still going on into Luke's death, but it's important we hear from his parents first. Richard Abrahams and Julie Needham, the parents to Luke and younger brother Jake. They explain what happened. So the Sunday Luke complained about having a um, sore throat. He then called the doctors on the Monday. They did an over-the-phone consultation where he was diagnosed with tonsillitis. He was... he did ask for um, antibiotics. So I went off to work on the Monday to chemists to try to get some. We couldn't get in hold of any, there was shortage. So I told Luke to call the doctors again on the Tuesday, in which he did. He didn't get a phone call back. Then he phoned 111, they told him to go down to A&E. I took him down to A&E. And again, they said it was tonsillitis. Then Thursday, his legs started hurting. Again, we called 111. They said he had sciatica. Then on the Friday, he then became worse. We called an ambulance. They came, did further checks. Then on the Sunday, again, he seemed to worsen. So we called the ambulance again. That's when he went into the ambulance and didn't come home. And he passed away on the Monday morning. On that Monday, um, I know you were the one who, who made broke the news to friends and family. Um, I guess it's a really hard question, but I guess it's something you'd never would have imagined to have done. No, not at all. Not at all. Especially at a 20 year old's age. You know, I know it's, this is sounding really weird, but when people are 80, 90, they've still got their lives. But with my parents, it was expected when they went into hospital. But you don't expect that of a 20-year-old. Luke's death made a hole in many lives. He had a good bunch of mates and they all gathered together on the weekend of his death. Luke created a Sunday league team called Huntsbury Hawks and after the club decided to play the game on the Sunday, there were hundreds in attendance. The team drew one all but Luke's best mate and captain of the club, Alfie Smith, scored the goal. Talk me through the goal, Alfie, uh, on the day. So there's a corner that came in from the left side over there. I can't remember who took it now, but it came in, swung over quite high, and there was just a massive scrap for the first ball in the middle of the area here, and I've just ran at it. I haven't even headed the ball. On the occasion, I just thought, throw myself at it. How did it feel when it went in the back of the net? Honestly, it was like, it was just a mix of loads of emotions. I didn't actually know how to feel. I remember when I scored it, I kind of, I cheered and celebrated for a second. And then I, I, I ran towards the lads as well, towards the halfway line. But I just stopped and didn't really know how to feel. I just stopped and I was just almost started crying in the middle of the pitch. And it didn't even feel like happy at that point because you just kind of miss him. You wish you were celebrating there with him, but yeah. It was a weird feeling. The bench Alfie is sitting at is a part of how Luke's legacy lives on today. With over £1,500 raised on that game, plans were up and running to install a bench opposite pitch two at Abington Park, where Luke first created Hansbury Hawks. And the man behind the scenes making it all happen was this man. Callum Harris, Hansbury Hawks chairman, manager, secretary. 
best player. Cal took over the club from Luke back in 2021 after Luke had work commitments and Cal made the decision to bring the bench to the park in memory of Luke. On the Sunday, me and H, who was the manager at the time, agreed that we'd raise money, just a little box if people wanted to put 20p and a pound in to something that we could have to sort of cement Luke's legacy as a club, it, whether it be a new shirt or a new kit. We knew we wanted to do something to sort of make sure he was always there. And um, I think after after some thought, we realised that a bench would be the best place, like the best thing for it. We weren't set on a place to start with, but then I thought that that, that pitch at Abington Park was where Luke started the club years ago and where we've played every home game since. And I thought if there was anywhere that him and his legacy should be, it should be at the side of the pitch because that's where he spent most of his time and he had most of his laughs. And I think that's where he'd want it to be. And it was definitely where we all agreed was the best place for it. Hunsbury Hawks went on to win the league that year and dedicated their win to Luke. Behind the scenes, there was planning up and running for a tournament which would be played in the summer featuring all the teams Luke ever played for. Younger brother Jake, who now plays for the Hawks on Sunday, was the driving force behind getting this tournament up and running. So with Luke, Luke was very friends orientated, obviously football orientated and obviously partying and drinking orientated. However, he was involved in multiple football teams and loved footballing purely because of the social as aspect of it. So I thought me and Cal came together and originally we only wanted to do a match, just a memorial match. However, we thought because of the teams that Luke played for and the teams that we could create with Luke's friends and family, we decided to do a tournament with multiple teams. And the reason why we wanted to do so <clears throat> is to keep, well, to keep Luke's legacy alive really because obviously he he loved football, he was a football and aspect type person, although in my opinion he went great at it. However, he loved football and we just wanted to carry that on for him. I reckon it keeps the community that have felt a loss of Luke passing away, keeps the community very close and for that fact it's helped benefit loads of people. And even on the day and after the day and before the third day, me and Cal were getting praises saying how much people appreciated it and how much it's helped them with the tournament. Um, so yeah, that's the whole reason why we wanted to do it. Luke's friends and family all came together in what has been a really difficult year for them all. Luke had such a big group of friends, from his mates on a Sunday to the lads he went to school with. And that's where I headed next. Connor Brunson was a good mate of Luke's and even held the coffin on the day of Luke's funeral. I didn't, I didn't know I was gonna do it, but it was always in the back of my mind that if I got asked, I'd be happy to do it. Um, obviously it's not a nice thing to do, but then it's also sort of a bit of relief knowing that you've carried him in the right way and obviously kept his legacy going. He was always fun, always enjoyable. If he saw me having a bad day, he'd bring me up. Um, had such good memories of him, especially sort of the holidays. How many fun memories had on holiday and Zanti together. He gave 100% to everything, whether that's on the pitch behind us or having fun with us. Um, and yeah, he, he meant a lot to me. And to keep Luke's legacy alive at the place where his football career all started, a shirt was put up in memory of him and part owner Alan Goody was more than happy to give the shirt a home. I managed to side up here, Luke was part of that side, 15 other lads. The lads, Lisa, put their heads together and it was how do we keep a memory of Luke in the club? Um, and the only way was to take Luke's shirt bring it in here and give a memory. Because a lot of them lads are here now when they come in, they see Luke's shirt, and there's a permanent reminder that Luke was here. You talk about Luke's legacy, everybody talks about Luke's legacy. I think what Luke left behind was a feeling that people were together. The guys that he played football with, his friends, his family, the adults he had contact with, they came together and they've stayed together. And so they did. We are over a year now since Luke's passing, but his name certainly does still live on today. From the wristbands to the bench, Luke has left a legacy across grassroots football in Northampton, and his name certainly won't be forgotten. I remember Luke for being the biggest sesh head you could ever meet, always wanted to go on a night out, and also being the best friend everyone 
he knew and around Northampton. Uh, Luke was a top man, always had a heart of gold and made everyone's day brighter. Luke was the life of the party, he'd never let any of us down on a night out. What a fun lad to be around.